Thank you very much. Well, here's a question for you out there, folks. What were you doing when you were 13? By that answer to Santa, you're guessing probably what I was doing. But have you written two books? What does outer space smell like? And do fart? Uh, do birds fart? I don't know if the two are interchangeable, but perhaps uh, my next guest does. This is uh, Alec Owen, and you are also known as Alex the Science Kid. Yes. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you for letting me join. Not only do you have two books, you have your own YouTube channel. You love science. You've been busy. You tell me you're re writing another book. Where do you get all this passion from? Well, I always um, ask my mom questions. And she either says, I don't know, or she just makes up random questions. Uh -huh. And I know that there's millions of other kids out there that have the same problem. So I want me to be the person that they can come to and ask a science question, and I'll be more than happy to answer it in a video. And they can buy my book, and it not only helps uh, the kids, but also helps their parents. We love that. Give it back. You have a science experiment right here. What are you going to do for it? Well, it's called Boo Bubbles, and you have to have a heavy-duty glove when you're uh, putting, when you're handling the dry ice, because that dry ice is 110 degrees below zero. Okay. And I'll burn you like there's no tomorrow. So. Safety first. Yeah. So you take a little dry ice, put it in the fog. Okay. And the fog is carbon dioxide, because dry ice is pretty much nothing but solid carbon dioxide. So it kind of falls, yeah. <laughs> All right, so how much dry ice do you put in there? You can put as many as you want. I like to put a lot because it gets much more. Uh -huh. you, you gotta have the effect. Now, how'd you learn this particular experiment? I have a role model. A model. His name's Steven Spangler, and he always does these really awesome science experiments. And I thought this one was cool. Okay, all right. So, I, you can also use a funnel to do that, but I have a tighter, <laughs> tighter seal when I do that. A little chimney there. So you do this, and then you get some really cool smoke bubble. And you can poke it and it just... Oh, oh, oh. it almost stayed. Now you said the objective is so that it won't pop, right? Yeah. It shouldn't pop. Oh, it almost does. One more time, one more time. Okay. Ah! Uh, uh. <laughs> now, do you sit at home and like try these different experiments all the time? Sometimes, yeah. Uh -huh. I bet you those are the fun days, huh? Yeah. All right. Where'd you come up with these two titles here? Do birds fart and what does outer space smell like? Well, I didn't want a boring uh, title like 50 questions of science or something. Uh -huh. I wanted it to be something that stands out. So do birds fart and what does outer space smell like? All right. So what's the answer? You have to buy my book in front of you. <laughs> Smart kid, too. <laughs> Thank you very much. These are available at Amazon. He's working on a third book. What's the title of that? Why Are Some People Jerks? Yeah. Woo. Many of us need to read that. Yeah. Anyhow, thank you very much. The best thank of you. luck to you. I'm sure you're going to do well in life. We will be right back with more Good Morning Arizona when we return. Try that bubble one with us. Ah. <laughs> I think it's because of fibers or something. Yeah. Oh, cool. cool deal. Well, thank you.